Hey guys, it's Devil again. Welcome back to my channel. This is a new video I made. Sniper tips. How to improve your recon gameplay in Battlefield 3. Now, these are some tips I've learned from real life experience and in-game experience. Let's just jump right into it. The scope. A lot of people don't know what these hash marks mean. Those are your elevation and distance. What you're looking at right there is how far away they look. That's If the target is 400 meters away, you're going to put the crosshair on that 400 mark. The ones on the sides, those are your windage or the uh, leading mills like if a target is traveling left to right you want to do it based on their speed now cover and concealment is another big thing you <laughs> just let the picture explain for itself you need good backgrounds you need to be in sh unlit areas unless you have a 12 times scope then something bright to kind of like cover your flare on your scope that could also be important. This is a picture of skylining. It's something you don't want to do. Say you're on top of a construction yard, you don't want to be on the top floor because somebody down on the bottom floor looking up at you, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb against a blue background. All right, jumping into the gameplay, there's a couple different things I want to talk about. Number one, there's difference between close range sniping and far sniping, long distance sniping. With close range sniping, you might want to use a silencer depending on the map. You definitely don't want to go above a four times magnification on your scope because it gives away your position to the enemy, which makes no sense because there's something in real life called honeycomb which completely eliminates flare off of your scope. So I wish they'd put that in the game and balance sniping a little bit more. But if you're in close range, you might want to use a semi-automatic. If you have the 50 or the 30 out 8 in this game, you might want to use that, but I prefer bolt actions for long distance. I'm not that good of a sniper. I don't snipe very much, but I know a lot of people like sniping, so I'm making this video. Especially for the new guys, give them some tricks and tips on how to get better at it. Now, with long distance sniping, you always want to use the 12x magnification scope. If you're good at it, you can even use 12 times in close combat. It's just going to give away your position a lot easier. Now, you never want to silence your weapon at long distance because the silencer does two things. One, it decreases damage more rapidly than not having a sniper, and it also increases bullet drop. The ballistics on the bullet and the speed is dropped so dramatically that you literally have to aim at least three or four hundred mils, depending on the distance of the enemy, above the target than you would without it. So your, your max effective range is cut off severely. You also want to get good at using your offhand things. I'm not very good at it right here in this part of the video. It's a glitch in the game. You have to set your items down on even terrain. I crawled around for like 15 seconds trying to find a good place to put that, but the rocks are all in jagged so it wouldn't work. So keep that in mind when you're trying to do that. Don't waste too much time. If you see that enemy over there, he when I'm shooting this guy right here, it's not dead on in the middle of the crosshair because of bullet drop. you got to use the elevation he wasn't that far and keep in mind that different weapons have different bullet drops the 30 out 8 is going to be severely less bullet drop than say the sv98 because the sv98 is a weaker sniper rifle now there's two major attachments for your weapon one being the bipod and two being a straight pull if you're doing quick sniping or if you're in something like the scenario that I'm in right now, you want straight pull. I don't have it in this video. I just unlocked the sniper. As I said before, I don't snipe very often, but there's I do know a lot about it just based off of real life experience. I am in the Marines. I'm not a sniper, but I have been given counter sniper classes on how to identify targets, identify snipers before they kill me or my squad mates. The bipod on here. You want to use the bipod if you're doing really long distance sniping and you definitely don't want any kind of movement. One little twitch at close range is not that big a deal, but at long range it can come out to miles. One thing I like to do with the bipod, especially on Gulf of Oman, is jump up, parachute into one of the highest you know, construction yards, get myself in a good sniper position for their helicopter respawn, they hop in. I squeeze a shot off, instant kill. If I got that kill, I don't move the crosshair and I just sit there. Every time somebody jumps in the chopper, free headshot, 
marksman bonus however far away you are it's easy way to rack up tons of sniper kills and get all your weapon unlocks now another thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning of the game which is extremely important for snipers and something a lot of people don't take into consideration because it's something you would only know from real life experience well, unless you've just figured it out on your own but the first thing that the human eye notices is movement if you're in a counter sniper situation where you don't know where he is and he doesn't know where you are the last thing you want to do is be turning around shuffling whatever scout out the situation right in front of you and then turn and look at another situation you don't want to just be scrolling around all over the place so your character is moving around making you the noticeable one you want to stay in dimly lit areas and you always want to have a backdrop that's another thing about the skylining you say you, there's no backdrop available you're on this little island like I was in the beginning of the video you position yourself within trees there's your you look much more like a tree than you do the ocean so your backdrop is extremely important when you're sniping or at least trying to hide from other snipers and here's a little tip for you guys that a lot of people didn't know with the claymores if you run in front of a claymore it will go off but if you walk if you're not sprinting it won't go off so if you want to piss somebody off just walk in front of their claymore and then stab them in the face all right, so another tip. This is a pretty obvious one, but you always want to aim for the head. The head is the most vulnerable part of the body. Headshots, always kill shots, doesn't matter what it is. You shoot them with a pistol in the head, they're gonna die. But, I've seen other YouTube videos where somebody, I heard somebody say, no matter how close you are with the sniper, if you do a body shot, they're not gonna kill him in one shot. I don't know why you said that. If you're playing hardcore like I do, a sniper at close range, at least the bolt actions, even the 30 odd, eight sorry 30 out of eight with the automatic at close range that is a one hit kill this weapon I don't have very many kills with it I don't even have straight pull yet but as you're gonna see later on in the video you can take the scope off and use iron sights it's basically making it like Call of Duty World at War with those bolt action rifles you know the ones you get the bayonet on those are my favorite rifles if you're good with the bolt action it's a one hit kill even if you shoot them in the toe I'm playing hardcore keep that in mind so if you want to play something like this you can grind your kills for a specific weapon extremely fast just go into a metro game take off the scope do quick corner peeking come around a corner pop corner around a corner pop it's great way to grind your kills up now if you put a silencer on the weapon I'm not sure I haven't tested it but I'm pretty sure you still get the kill if it's close enough the silencer drops the damage off according to distance so you guys might want to test that for yourself I might not be correct sorry if I'm not alright guys that pretty much wraps it up for the commentary there is a lot more video of me sniping you can pay attention to it if you want if you don't want to watch it Please comment on the video, let me know. This is my first time using Sony Vegas Pro. I'm learning, let me know what I'm doing wrong, if I'm doing anything wrong. If, I if you like it, like it, subscribe. I'm gonna put out new videos every week. Thanks a lot for watching, this is Devil. Talk to you later.